Hi everyone, Lord Crow here and welcome to my channel. So the topic for uh, uh, today is about a death meta for weekend rank week 123. So without further ado guys, uh, let's proceed. So as you can see guys, uh, we already have the results for the uh, top weekend rank. Uh, and as you can see, uh, on, out of the 20 uh, players here, two managed to enter the top 20 using a board wipe deck, guys. And one uh, managed to enter as a uh, rank 5, that will be Jaycan. He managed to get 23 wins out of 25. And on the rank 19, we got Octopus Alduk, who managed to get 22 wins out of up out of 25 so uh we all know guys for the past couple of weeks board wipe deck has been very famous especially there are like a certain week where there are like uh, multiple players to manage to get 25 out of 25 or a perfect uh uh rank using a board wipe deck guys so the only downside why this week it's the popularity of board wipe deck became lesser is i believe because there are like two things one is we have an outage uh, during the weekend rank where majority of the player, even me, um, did not manage to enter or play the game because of the black screen. And the issue was there was a launcher issue uh, as per the technical support. So, uh, and second thing is the main reason probably uh, there are less people playing board wipe deck is I believe because of the, we all know it's a holiday guys. So uh, the weekend rank, uh, suddenly started on December 24, 25, and 26, which is a holiday where we have Christmas and Boxing Day. So high chances, like, because we all know Board Wipe Deck, it's a very long game. Maybe much, some of the players are start playing a, a an aggressive deck, like War Control, uh, Nature, or Light, just like to have, like, a spending less time playing Geo Deck during the holidays, guys. And without further ado, guys, let's check now uh, the deck. So as you can see, Jaycan board wipe deck is the only uh, I noticed here that he removed the polyhemia, guys, and and also flesh bind. So flesh bind is a spell where you, you it's a spell where you sacrifice one of your creatures, and that creature self will, you will gain you life and then draw a card. So he replaced that one with win up roller, as you can see, two of them and. Uh, he removed one of the polyhemia. Usually the finisher of the board wipe deck, especially the the 25-25 board wipe deck, is that they have two end games, Hippocrias and Polyhemia. So he removed the polyhemia and one of the flesh bind and replace it with Bina Prowler and then add another sulfuric rain. Because on the 25-25, they're using one sulfuric rain here, guys. So that's the only uh tech difference. And if you compare with uh Board wide deck by Octopus Aldoc. He still have like the Polyhemia and Hippocrias. The only thing is he added Iron Tooth Goblin and he removed two of the Flesh Bind. He removed two the two Flesh Bind and replay add one Sulfuric Rain and one Iron Tooth. And that's the only. So technically 95, 90% of the deck are still the same. It's just like the Flesh Bind is the one that will be dropped because Sometimes flesh, uh, maybe flesh bind are like a dead card, or for majority of the time, or uh, majority is like uh, so that's the only thing that they're trying to take up and replacing the flesh bind guys. So, uh, that's it. So as you can see, it's typically almost the same with the other build, but it depends on the player if what will what how what will be his play style and how can he come up with a tech to answer other especially i believe iron tooth are good versus zombies uh, anything that uh, remove durability goods versus light and war and even uh and even with the zombie and even magic because some magic has like a very techy uh weapon uh like the uh palace one and the other one the artist three where they can like do spell boost. so i think this is like the only tech up but same same build up, same concept, uh, uh, end game of nine. So this is a very long game, guys. When you, every time you play board wipe deck, even though you have like a ramp and draw, still a very long game. So now, uh, I believe board wipe deck. It it depends what will be the status of the weekend, uh, 
on the weekend rank, next weekend rank, if there will be still outage about that launcher. I still having still experience on that one, time to time, and and also uh, if the people were gonna uh, focus on uh, on board wipe deck on next game, maybe more war control. And I one thing that I uh, as you can see on the top twenty, only two board wipe deck, but there's also a popularity of the zombie deck guys. And usually, probably zombie deck are popular are played by the lower rank and some mythic player, but during only for the uh uh week weekdays uh playtest or uh flux gathering or the blessings of the god. So as you can see here, guys, uh this is like the zombie deck getting more popular, guys, and the, it has like a good win rate, guys. Also, and as you can see. Uh, as you can see, it's very common. Uh, it's typically powered by the Necroscaptor and even the the Curse Obelisk. So these two guys are your uh, zombie generator guys. And the rest of the guard are either your uh, Frenzy and early board uh, uh, presence. Fre to activate Frenzy, pump the zombies and one. So if, for example, if we go for this budget zombie that. Uh, as you can see, he's using Necroscaptor Obelisk. This is like your main uh, main cards here. Your finale will be Corpse Explosion or just overwhelm your opponent of zombies. Uh, pump it with uh, Nether Swarm, another source of zombies, guys. And then because of the zombie, I have Lich. Uh, even aggro like War and Light will have difficulty facing the zombie deck, guys. Uh, but I think... Uh, this this kind of deck are weak against magic and board wipe deck or other control deck because we all know like uh war control board wipe deck and magic have aoe or board wipe like an uh, aoe that deals all zombies and kill and especially this this course obelisk even though he has backline it can be spelled by magic so that's like the only but this deck are good versus aggro war aggro and light because we all know that uh, if you're war aggro or uh, zoo light, you don't have an AOE. You're relying with creature. And this guy is never ending zombie, guys. If you did not manage to kill the course obelisk or the neps. So light levy can like kill this one with backline. But for war aggro, because this is backline, it will difficult for the war aggro. So this is like a good fun deck. Um, I, I'm not quite sure if people are playing this one in lower rank. But this is like an, uh, also a good deck that I have to feature because... It's getting popular now, guys. And if we go now to check the popularity, as you can see, that is still the one of the. Uh, I think currently that is became uh, rank three in the most popular in mythic rank because of the board wipe deck. But who knows? It may also be popular also in uh, lower rank. As you can see, board wipe deck has low chance of winning against light because of the regent dawn. Uh, regent dawn is very aggressive, and as you can see, also low win rate on a uh, war aggro right because war aggro if they have a god hand they can like finish the game in turn five which board wipe deck trying to stall the game until turn seven for demogorgon and uh, apocalypse but he has like good win rate against nature magic and deception okay so currently uh third most popular in mythic uh, uh dominated by by war uh high chance of winning is uh Big counter for death are the war and, and light guys. War and light. These two deck are his uh nightmare. If there will be a lot of war and light, so that's the main reason probably the death uh our meta are going down now because there are lots of counter against him playing on the weekend. Not like before where everything is dominated by nature. And that's like the opportunity for the board wipe deck to come. So guys, if you have like questions and suggestions, kindly leave me a comment. And if you like the video, please. Subscribe and like for more Godstone Chain and see you next week guys. Bye-bye.